fighting for change, unsure of when they will see their classrooms again. You don't know when you're going to go back. That is very sad. That is a hard step to take. And it is a family decision that you have to say, I have to stand up for what I believe in. Marthana Hall is a math instructional aide and has been working in education for over 17 years. She's one of thousands of support staff on strike for free. Were you paid today? No. Will you be paid tomorrow? No. Will you be paid Monday? No. But she says she will do what it takes to get more money for her students. After seeing the decline in resources over the last decade, so committed to the cause that she'll take any consequence if it means change. And it's kind of like my last stand for education. You would take the fire to fight for this. Correct. Teachers, aides, counselors, some nurses, all falling under that support staff category, unpaid during this strike. That also includes. Bus drivers like Jerry Shaminsky. It's money. I depend on it. Who's in the same position as Hall, but with a very different opinion. I do not agree with the strike. They have every right to do it, but they're hurting the kids. He isn't allowed to use paid time off during the strike, so each day it continues, he's at a loss. He's angry legislators left the Capitol Thursday while 50,000 people rallied right outside. I think it's wrong. The legislators should be, we're paying them to work this out. That's what our tax dollars are supposed to be going for, but if they, ever, they don't care. They don't care. Red Hornet! Now hoping this strike ends soon before he's forced to leave his kids behind for good. My wife said, maybe I should start looking for a new job, but I love what I'm doing. In Phoenix, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family.